What if there is fertilization? If there is fertilization, then the uterine lining will not break down. And then what happens? Okay, if fertilization were to occur, then the uterine lining is maintained as the fertilized egg continues its journey down the fallopian tube. In fertilization, the nucleus of the sperm cell fuses with the nucleus of the ovum. Now here I would like to show exactly what I mean when I say the nucleus fuses. Now let's say this is an egg cell and this is the nucleus of the egg cell. And let's say this is a sperm cell outside the egg cell with its nucleus in here. Now if the sperm cell fertilizes the egg, it is not that the sperm cell completely fuses with the egg cell. Only the nucleus will enter the cytoplasm of the ovum. The nucleus will move towards the nucleus of the ovum and then they will fuse. What about the rest of the body of the sperm cell? They will not be used. They will be discarded. And that's it. Okay? What happens during this time after the nucleus of the male and the female gametes have fused? They will divide. Almost immediately after, they will divide. First into two cells, then into four cells, then into eight cells, so on and so forth. The number keeps doubling and they will continue to divide until they form a ball of cells. Okay? The zygote is what we call the fertilized egg. And once it has divided enough, it will turn into a ball of cells. That ball of cells will start to change shape. Instead of being a ball, it will then gradually develop into something different called the embryo. Now we won't discuss this in detail under lower sex signs. So it's enough if you just call it a ball of cells or embryo. Here they don't really penalize you for calling it either way. By the time it has developed into a ball of cells or embryo, it will have journeyed to the uterus. Since there was fertilization, the uterine lining will not have broken down. And then it will implant, as you can see over here in this picture. The implantation site is random. We won't know exactly where it implants. But regardless of where it implants, there should be enough blood vessels in the uterine lining by now. The blood vessels will supply nutrients and oxygen to the developing embryo. In time, you can see the picture down here. There is a structure called the placenta that will develop. This allows for the exchange of nutrients, oxygen and waste products between the mother's blood system and the developing embryo here, connected through the umbilical cord. Over time, it will grow bigger and develop into a fetus. The contents of this region here surrounding the fetus is called the amniotic fluid. This region is called the amniotic cavity. It is surrounded by a bubble. The bubble is called amniot. This is the water balloon, so-called water balloon, that bursts just before childbirth. 